the approach to shield the room. The normal approach is to shield walls and ceiling. If someone is on the first floor or higher, then the floor should be shielded as well. Paint can be tricky for that, as often there are timber panels that are tricky to ground uh, or concrete floor that has a lot of traffic. Our shielding mesh is often a great option and can be placed under carpets or under floating floorboards. If there are tiles, polished floorboards or polished concrete, um, the mesh could be placed under a big rug and that is then placed under the bed. Another possibility is to paint the, shield, uh, the ceiling of the room underneath the bedroom. But it may be tricky to make sure you cover the right area, so it's a good idea to cover more ceiling underneath just to make sure that you cover the area that really matters. Okay, now one thing you saw with the measurements as well is that um, Sasha found that uh, there was a little bit of electric field still left on some of the um, flooring, especially in the bedroom. So what we're going to be doing with this, uh, with this particular floor, we're going to apply the shielding mesh to the floor. The um, project manager um, mentioned to us that there's going to be a floating floor being put into anyway. Perfect situation, so we're going to put the mesh underneath, nobody will know. Floating floor on the top and then the um, mesh will be earthed as well. That will take care of that little remnants of electric field exposure that we found in the bedroom. In the bedroom.